Play Land War Elf. You play Land? Yeah, you play Lands in your deck? Benjamin? You do not <laughs> take a no land head. Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode, we have an awesome game of CEDH, and this is a game that really shows us that CEDH is just EDH, everybody. It really has all the, the pros and cons and all the, the craziness that an EDH game can have, just maybe at the more tuned level. And so let's just all have a fun time. Uh, there's been some crazy discourse out there. Just remember we're playing a game with friends. Before we jump into the game, I want to present to you the Magic Summit. November 11th, 12th, and 13th in Salt Lake City, Utah, it's going to be an amazing event, like nothing that's been around before. Our main event is the Brothers War pre-release, with the winner taking home an unlimited Black Lotus. Brandon Sanderson is revealing his vintage cube, and you have a chance to play with him, LSV, Reed Duke, and John Finkel with that cube. We have a huge Commander Arena, Legacy, Pioneer, and Modern 5Ks, a VIP lounge, tons of amazing artists who are bringing some of their original pieces for our art gallery, vendors, cosplayers, and most of your favorite creators from across the world. Make sure you are following us on all of our socials as we announce more guests, daily giveaways, and some special announcements too. Check this all out at mtgsummit.com and I really hope to see you there. Hello everybody, I'm Jason and I'm playing Shorakai Genesis Engine. I have this really cool proxy from Neon Genesis Evangelion, which this card is 100% inspired from. It's a very fun artifact deck about drawing lots of cards, running a couple of disruption pieces, but it's a fun combo deck and I hopefully can polymorph some pilot tokens or skull clamp them and draw lots of cards. Hey everyone, this is Carlos playing Urza, Lord High Artificer. Um, I have, a, I think, a fun proxy too. This is the art from one of the original books, old old art. I got this before they made this cool version. This is my most blingy deck, and it's uh, fun to play every once in a while. This is Urza uh, Polymorph as well, so we're gonna see, hopefully one of us will Polymorph uh, today. Get out a big, big guy for the win. I'm John. I'm playing Kodama and Timna. Uh, this is the Razaketh build, and so it's mostly just tutoring for the right combo pieces, uh, possibly Aristocrat for damage and or infinite, or just close the game out with Finale for combat damage. All right, so I'm, my name's Ben, and I'm playing Rurik Thar. Basically, I'm going to try to uh, get him out early and punish all the blue, blue players, cast too many spells, and uh, have a good time. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to do one of my favorite plays in this deck, Flooded Strand, pass the turn. Uh, draw for turn. All right, I will pollute a delta. I will crack it. Soul ring. And That's might as well soul ring. shoot it into a Sensei's Divining Top. I will look at the top three cards. We'll do it like this. And I'll be done with my turn. I will draw for turn. Burning Catacombs for turn. I'll tap and pay a life to crack it. Put Bayou into play from that. I'll play Chrome Mox coming out. And then I'm going to imprint Exiling Diabolic Intent. And then I will do tap for green, tap for black. I will cast Sylvan Library. Ooh, baby. That's Ben's magic card. Yeah, what the heck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass turn. Drop turn. I'm going to cast a Chrome Box of my own. And wait for it. Are you exiling? Imprint. Whoa, you imprinted something? Whoa. Uh, Whoa. All right, I'm going to tap for a green, play a Land of War Elf. You play land? Yeah, you play lands in your deck? Benjamin? You do not <laughs> take a no land head. Okay. 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 Oh, just that land. Okay. I'll pass. Uh, my turn one was pretty bad. I'm going to crack. Uh, I'll get Tundra. Draw for turn. Let's go Inventor's Fair. I'll just tap the fair and cast Skull Clamp. And then I will pass the turn. Let's untap. Draw a card. Play an island. Let's tap three for a Rhystic Study. Um, pass turn. Sylvan Library trigger. Okay, uh, I will take all three, and I'll take eight. Okay, I'll play Exotic Orchard. Tap for green. I will attempt to cast Carpet of Flowers. 
a trigger. I will pay the one. After you pay the one, I will give you a desert resolve. Yep, can attack, pass. Play a taiga. I'm going to tap four. I'm going to play a treasonous ogre. Trigger. Uh, you can have it. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. I will play Otawara, the Soaring City. Exorious Signet. And then Trigger. I won't pay. I'm going to tap Signet, and I'm going to cast Ponder, and I will pay the one. Okay, I'll draw. I'll pass turn. Untap. Draw a card. Play an island. Let's pay four mana for Urza, Lord High Artificer. If he is good, he will also come with a servant. Um, pass turn. End of turn. I will attempt to Frexian Noxious Revival to get Carpet of Flowers <laughs> back to the top of my library. I will <laughs> uh, trigger a Rhystic Study. Yeah, I'll pay for it. You paid the life for it? Yep. Move my turn. I'll untap. Carpet and Stimulus Package. Let's see what that's got. I'll take the one carpet and leave that, those two on top. I'll tap for green. Thank you, Ben. And then I'll cast Carpet of Flowers. Trigger? Uh, nope, I will not pay this time. Uh, one second. Uh, ben, you're on <laughs> You're on Rurik Thar mana. You can't counter him, Maybe. though, right? He has Vigilance and Reach. Must att- attack each turn. This is just only hurting John and me. What do you have to find? I don't, I don't I, I, I stop this. He gets a Kodama out. Yeah, um, I will negate it. I will tap for green to cast Addison's Pilgrim, and I will pay the one on that one. And then I'll attack Carlos for two with a Flying Swan, and pass. Not the guy with Trees Ogre? You counted the carpet twice. <laughs> this is CDH. doesn't matter. Oh, I know. Turn. And you're just doing your thing. You're just living your identity anyway. Dude, I'll play a land for turn. Man of Confluence. And I'll tap it. I'm going to tap so for green, and I'll tap for one more green. And a lot of... All right, I'm actually going to attempt to cast my homie, Kogla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this card has overperformed so well. <laughs> I, I, I three got, life. Yep, I'll pay three life. Um, um, I guess that, I should respond. I feel like Urza's probably dead, so I will... Why drop. did you pay three life, Ben? To pay the one. He's unca- yeah, he's unca- oh, gotcha. using he's a gotcha. so he can use his Thank life you, thank you. Mana. Um, draw a card. Okay, so he hits the battlefield, and he um, fights one target creature I don't control. And so I'm going to fight Urza. Muerto. Trace also going to for two. This so is, I'll take so. Uh, four then, right? Uh, Just three. You'll take Just three. three. Just three. Now he's a uh, three, four. You done All after right. that? I'm done. Draw. Ancient Tomb is land for turn. Tap. Lose to life. And cast my commander. Rhystic Study. Yeah, I will not pay. I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Play an island. I'll play a Lotus Petal. All right, I'll pass the turn. Sylvan Library. Uh, I will take two and put one back and pay four life. Tap for black, tap for green. I will attempt to cast Collector Oof. Oh, oh my. wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Rhystic Study. Uh, I'll say no, not this time. I'm going to activate Shorakai. And draw two. Well, with activation. Those in the comments down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this later, if I should save this or not, but I'm going for it. Crack the pedal. Casting a Hole Breaker Horror. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I'll pass the priority after that. He can't be countered, so. I will get my uh, pilot. Draw two cards. I'll discard Talisman of Progress. The oof resolves. Put him over there. I'll tap the Pilgrim for white. I'll tap the Exotic Orchard for white. Thank you, Jason. And mm-hmm. then I will cast Grand Abolisher. Oh, wow. Wow. Rhystic? That one, not so much. I cannot pay for Rhystic. Uh, I'll go to combat. I'll use the swan bird, sorry, bird token. I'll attack Ben for two. All right, I'll take it. Second main, no carpet mana, pass turn. I'm going to play Nykthos, Shrine Nyx. Tap two to activate Nykthos. I'll pay six life to attempt to cast Bogla's Brand. In <laughs> response to Rurik Thar, I'm going to cast Path to Exile on Holebreaker Horror. Uh, but- Rhystic Study. Holebreaker? Yeah, I've got. I, I you can draw off a Rhystic. I'm gonna go to attack phase, and I'm gonna swing wolf at you, Carlos. Because then I'll get my dethrone trigger. 
five and a seven seven, and then his Kogler's attack triggers on the stack, and he will blow up Rusik steady. Sure, I'll block uh, Kogla. Take nice. four. And I will move to second main phase. I'll tap for four green, pay one life to tap for a red, and I'm going to play the very fearsome goblin sharpshooter. With that, I will pass turn. Untap. Uh, upkeep. Gain a life off of Venter's Fair. Draw. I'm going to tap Ancient Tomb. Lose two life. Cast Polymorph targeting my pilot token. Uh, lose six life on the Rook Thar trigger. Goblin Sharpshooter untaps, I guess. I feel like we just got rid of this guy. I have no other response. So nothing else I can do. So I will pass. Can't even crew my vehicle. Untap. Oh, yeah, by one. Draw a card. Play an Inventor's Fair. Let's do a cantrip of a preordain. Let's try to and then draw a card and pay six yes. life and draw a card. All right, I'll discard, reshape, end of turn, pass turn. Untap. Sylvan Library trigger. I'll just take this one actually and put these two back. Okay, I'll play Emergence Zone as my land for turn. I get this box away from the mana producers. So a little exotic orchard for black. And then I'll play Corpse Knight first, and then afterwards I'll cast Dark Confidant. Corpse Knight trigger, each one it loses life. So let's go to combat. I'll swing with the Abolisher and the Bird. Let's send two flying to Jason, and then two on the ground to Carlos. Uh, that's all I got. Pass turn. I will end up. It's up oh, to you, Ben. Cool. Take on that horror. I'm going to tap to do um, a damage to Holbert. Go to attack phase. So I'm going to meet you with a 7 6 and, and a 6 6, and then at you, Carlos, with a, a 1 1 and a 4 5. Those are saving free lunch around here. I have no for this land of war elf. Krogo is going to trigger. Oh, gonna God, what, are you, what are you going oh, yeah, yeah. to target? Sure, sure, okay. My commander. Sad day. Krogo is 3 and 0. Oh, undefeated. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm blocking Kogla with my Holbreaker Horror. Okay. Jeez. So Kogla will die. And I'll take six Rook Thar damage. Kogla Sharpshooter will untap. So I'm going to tap and I'm going to. This is post combat. No, combat this is in resolve. combat. And that, that's two triggers, right? In combat. One in for combat. each creature that goes. Everything dies. In oh, because he, yeah, he dies. Since I have two death triggers, I'll tap to deal one to the Abolisher. It'll untap again with the other death trigger. Do one more to the Abolisher. So it dies. Right. Untaps. I'm going to hit the Pilgrim for sure. I'm just going to. Actually, I'm just going to wait right, right here. There's no reason to shoot yet. So with that, I'm going to pass my turn. Jason, uh, might, Jason might play something for me to shoot. Draw? No. Crack Arid Mesa. Bring my life total down. Getting... Where are my planes? Oh, there they are. Cast Time Twister. I have no response. I do. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pay my my life tax. Yeah, I'll Cyclonic Rifts. Oh. are Gonna live on the edge and tell my ancient too. <laughs> Oh no! I can't. No, 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 no! I don't, that does not work like I wanted to. Dang it! I can't use this yet. Ugh. Sorry, I'm doing. I'm dead. There's just no way I'm not. There. <laughs> I'm doing math. I'll pass. Dead. I'll pass. That's amazing. Um, untap. Draw a card. Let's play an island. Cast an Urza. For six. I'll tap this for a blue. I use that ring. From Urza's ability to play a Witching Well for one blue. And if that's good, I'll scry two as it enters the battlefield. It's tr uh, triggered ability. That is my turn. I'll pass turn. I uh, say so at the end of Carlos' turn, I'm going to sharpshooter your dark confidant for one damage. Yeah. Uh, I'll untap the bird. Hey, Sylvan Library. Take those two, put that one back, and I'll take four. I will play Command Tower. Do white and a colorless. I'll cast the Archivist of Ogma. Corpse side trigger. You guys lose life. Combat, I'll attack with these two flying for Carlos, and then I'll send these four to Ben. Dude, that oof is, is doing work for me. It is it's doing really some serious work. Uh, I'm good. Pass turn. Drop turn. I'm going to pay six life. Two red men. You know, attempt to cast. Vexing <laughs> I'm going to tap for one. Pay in one. I'll tap here for four. Step in, and I'll pay three life. And I will attempt to cast. Response. In response, I'm going to cry. No, I'm going to cast Light and Tutor. Yeah, I'm going to get uh, out of time. So, it seems oh, to be like. Archivist of Ogma Trigger. You search your library. I get to draw a card and gain a life. 
Yeah, Jason, I'm going at you for four. exactly four. Tap one, A1. I cast this guy. It's probably getting greedy, but here we go. Rolling Vortex. Give each player to upkeep Rolling Vortex deals one damage to them. Whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, Rolling Vortex deals five damage to him. With that, I am done. I will untap. I only have two artifacts, and so in Vendor's Fair, doesn't trigger. I will draw, play a Marsh Flats. Uh, I guess that's just playing King Making if I help John, though, right? Well, here's the thing. Oh. Here's the thing, Jason. Yeah. I yeah. can bounce Rurik Thar. But... Can you bounce Rurik Thar and Collector If? No. My... Yeah, if you could bounce Rurik Thar, I can do you can out something. Of time. Yeah. And then the Aloof uh, is gone, and that takes care of that. Yeah, either way, I think it is fine for me to do this right now. I will chain a Vapor Rurik Thar. Take six. Man, you can sacrifice and land and copy it. I will do that. I'm going to get rid of Mana Confluence. And I'll get rid of Urza. I will sack a land and bounce the Vortex. I'm going to sack this and I'm going to get rid of um, the bird. So I'm going to crack Marsh Flats. Losing 20% of my life. Archivist Trigger. Gain a life draw card. I'm going to cast Blind Obedience. <laughs> The extort has to be colored. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Okay, um, and wait, then I'll wait, cast wait, out wait, of time. Wait, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 oh, wait, sorry, sorry, wait, sorry. Wait, you're, I forgot you're playing blue. Yeah, I'm okay with that actually. Carlos, you've matured. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I played CDH. All right. I can't, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I can't we got to we gotta put about that card. Okay, white, white one, and cast out of time. So, what's our total number of creatures? In response. Three. Don't in response me. <laughs> I'm going to ping you for one. Okay, so it would total was eight. I will pass the turn. All right, my one turn. Here we go. Draw a card. I will play a Scalding Turn. I will play an Urza, Lord High Artificer. Okay, if that's good, we'll get another Construct. Tap for a blue. I'll make it five. I'll cast Reshape. Sacking... A witching Good thing I time well. twisted. Static or vigor. Festered. Oh, uh, isn't small. it tapped? Oh. Artifacts and in... oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. Dang, that was Blind a good obedience state. strikes again. I really oh, wanted no. John and Ben to be skipped. You gotta I'll be, be honest. kidding me. But it wouldn't even skip them. They only have two tap permanents. All yeah. right. Yep. That's worse for me. Okay. And step. I'll use my Chrome Mox for black because I can do it again. Black green. Caster Blood K okay, on out of time. Wow. I'm going to tap for a mana. Tapping Ancient Tomb and activating my Signet. So I have one blue white. And I'm going to cast Chain of Vapor targeting John's Chrome Mox. Wait, 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 wow. wait, 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 Correct. And then you could oh, have the so mana. just float and the then mana and then okay, things. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll float the mana. Out of time goes back to my hand. Wait, Everything so gets better. It's destroyed. So you right. balance it back to your hand. Oh, oh, it, you know, you're right. It's you're right. Destroyed. You're right. No, it is destroyed. No, I'm you, just no, yeah, you can bounce already. your own thing. Oh, sack of land. No, that's yeah. a, that's amazing. Yeah. I still die. I don't know. Abrupt decay to resolve. That's yeah, yeah. Abrupt decay question. resolves. Abrupt decay resolves. I'm also going to cast crop rotation. I will sack emergent zone. I'm gonna cast chain of vapor. Yeah, we'll bounce Corpse Knight. I am extorting it. In response to the extort. Be for one. Just going <laughs> to kill me? Just, just <laughs> take me out behind the shed, man? Oh, this man. Oh, no. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but I die. I think I dispel the crop rotation. Uh, losing a life, getting a, a island before that. I'll gain a life and draw a card in response. Rotation is countered. I'll move into there. I'll untap. Uh, we'll seal the library. I'll take one, put one back. Let's play Savannah for turn. I'll tap Bayou for black, Command Tower for black, cast Dothy Voidwalker. So everybody takes one? No, no, no the I'm going to Pact of Negation that one. Let's go to combat and I'll attack Carlos for four. No, I got to do all three. Six total. Okay, I'll block the Corpse Knight. I will tap for green and then cast Wild Growth. On my exotic orchard. Turn, go ahead, Ben. I like how Ben only has two lands and they're like amazing. <laughs> yeah. The two Bro, that's most amazing mana work. making lands. All right, so I'm going to tap for four of green. I'm going to use two of it to tap Nykthos for red. I'm going to cast Rurikthar. I will play a land. 
Uh, you have a Maya cradle growth. I'm nervous about that. It might help you more than it helps me. So I am going to go to the attack phase. And I'm going to sweet you. This will trigger. I will set your main phase and then pass the turn. That's good. Untap. So the library. Can it be done? I will actually take one of them. I'll put this one back. Pay for life. Play snow covered forest as my land for turn. Okay, let's do two green. I'll tap for two more. Okay, we'll do something weird. I'll pay six. And I'll like cast Finale play. of Devastation. I'm actually going to pull Corpse Knight from my graveyard. Okay, I will tap for two white. White and white. I'll cast Land and Relic Order. And you and can then, exile something? And exile an artifact or an enchantment. Let's exile your Chrome Box then, I guess, Ben. Oh, that is not doable. I have to pass. Oh, no. I'll tap for one, two, three, four, five green. I'm going to use two of it to make red to cast this guy. I'm going to search for Kiki Jiki. I think that's it. Well, you have enough to cast him. And then I can kill all of his blockers. Because I'll make a sharpshooter combo. Kiki Jiki's in Oh, he comes in with haste, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and tap him to make a copy of sharpshooter. Uh, Archivist trigger because you searched your library. So that yep, gain a life draw card. All right, so I'm going to deal two to the Corpse Knight. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that to the Archivist, and I'll do that to Leonin. Now, and then question. your Chrome Mox comes back in. Oh, yeah, you're right, because I could re-imprint. Let's get rid of this pesky Pyroblast that's doing me nothing. I'm going to go ahead and I'll get the Oof as well. Um, I will then go to combat. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's lethal. Yep. Wow. <laughs> can, I admit, can I admit my crime now? Instead of when I had Rurik on the board, you guys were all on the ropes. It's, yeah. it's, I played this spell. You yeah. know what I, I paid nine life for this. Yeah. You know what I had in my hand? <laughs> but then I took myself too low to be able to use it. When you cast Chain of Vapor, I could have responded with this. So then I had to sack a lane to get rid of John's bird. What a disaster. I'm so happy all of our decks what did else, our yeah, thing. What else is in your hand? So if you hadn't countered crop rotation, I was yeah. going to Corpse Knight for the win using Court of Calling, because oh. I would have had Guy's Cradle out. I also had so what, what, Tutor. Like what do you what do you get with Court Court of Calling? Uh, it was just another creature to ETB from Corpse Knight to yeah. kill everybody. Okay. But I also had Demonic Tutor and Squirrel Nest, so I was gonna demonic tutor oh. for the other piece. Back. And it turns out the oof is actually the one that hurt me. Even though it was countered, I had both the the two drop black and the two drop white and if i could have had one access to one black mana i could have cast them both for that so Dang. the only closer you can get in an edh game is if someone has like a platinum angel or a lich out where you can't lose the game but one life barely eking by everyone doing crazy things this this was a fun game i really enjoyed it how about you? What did you think of the game today? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Also, if you have a favorite CDH deck that you've been wanting to see someone play a little bit more, you should suggest it to me as I am looking to try something new. So if it's super common CDH deck, maybe I'll look into it, but I am trying to find something that maybe I haven't seen before. If you're enjoying our shows and you'd actually like to play with our team, check us out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You'll get access to our Discord with an upgraded Looking for Games channel and monthly EDH league. We have deck techs and deck help channels and a bunch more. I'd love to see you over there. Speaking of which, a huge shout out to our Samurai patrons. Chandler Carlisle, Chris Crowley, Jason Garner, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Morton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, and Worthy Glover. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. All right, everyone. Thanks as always for watching and remember, keep it nerdy.